Yeah, okay, seems I triggered the intro a bit, a bit too early, but... Uh, <clears throat> Hello anyone who may be watching now or later, and welcome to Helion's Ode. Me, Helion, along with... The fearsome Drakir. And welcome back to The Secret of Monkey Island... Or no, not The Secret, The Curse of Monkey Island, a.k.a. Monkey Island 3. And last time, uh, yeah, we were battling... <laughs> We were battling ships for quite a while, a, a bit annoyingly long, but luckily it probably could have gone <clears throat> probably could have gone on for a lot longer. And after a bunch of trial and error, we finally got our freaking map back, I believe. Uh, there it is, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, um, before I forget, may I make a little announcement? Uh, sure. I'm about to become an uncle to another... Nice. <laughs> okay, congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Now we all do free little brats. <laughs> I was about to ask, isn't this like the third time? <laughs> it is. Now we just got today to know the gender. All right. Uh, well, congrats, and uh, hopefully they won't terrorize you as much as the other two, apparently. <laughs> I suspect she will be the third one to pull my beard and pull off some of it. <laughs> uh, you, you can just call it a souvenir. <laughs> well, yeah. Last time we also nailed down this bed, so uh, yeah. Our poor cust well, our poor guy here doesn't get launched out the freaking wall. And we can get our hands on this book for whatever reason we would want it. Yeah, uh, wait. I see there's something odd here. Mm -hmm. The hole is repaired. Um, partially, I'd say at the very best. <laughs> Attempted yeah. as well. The, the question is, if it's been slammed there so many times, shouldn't someone notice that? That there's a, a body? I'm guessing the repair, well, the attempted repair, happened uh, before our esteemed guest here showed up. And uh, speaking of, does yeah, he have something? Still, it, it looks like he has something in his eye or eye socket. It feels like should, someone should be able to see him from outside. Mm, now, looking at it, the blanket would probably cover up most of the uh, hole. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like there's something in his eye socket, but it could just be a spider web or something. So in the meantime, or, what uh, is with this? Actually, it could be a glass eye. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the Good Soup family. And it says I'll receive a new book every month, or cancel with no obligation, and keep my copy of Buccaneers and Bouillabaisse Bays as a free gift. Okay. Not sure what, <laughs> what, what use we'll get out of that. And yeah, we also... Freed Stan from his coffin. Uh, let's just hope we can stick him right back in if need be. I feel like uh, you have a grown same disdain for him as me. Yeah, the, the, move, the movements of him in the first game alone were already annoying. And plus, well, he's a scammy salesman. <laughs> Nobody likes those except for other scammy salesmen. And even then they hate them still because they're competition. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Let's see. Um I'm Okay, nothing new. The rustic charms of Blood Island. I was expecting something to pop up about the book maybe, but I guess we'll just have to see what the hell that is going to be useful for. Uh, Madam Zima, you have anything new to say or is he going to scream <laughs> scream death at us again? Madam Zima, I be gone. You will bring death to all who surround you. No good can come of this. <laughs> the evil eye there. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's thinking if I kill him, he can't kill us. <laughs> what right. could be worse? She could send a chocolate golem after you. <laughs> yeah, it's something we found out about yesterday. Oh, well, I found out about, and Dragir watched it today, is a, a very quirk... Oh, of course. 
The very quirky uh, old Dungeons and Dragons uh, uh, creature. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know they were able to do something that quirky, but it is kind of terrifying when you think about it. It gets hard, stronger from being cold, but if you stop melting it enough, yeah, then it may actually come be backfire with all, all molten chocolate fly at you. Ha! Oh, molten chocolate. Yeah, that's <clears throat> that's rough. yeah. That that was from a channel called uh, Dungeon Dad, who just reworks old uh, D and D stuff into newer. But yeah, pretty fun. Go check them out if you uh, feel like it. In the meantime, watch this diploma. I get the feeling it's forged. Okay, he oh, right. got a mail in <laughs> diploma. Yeah, wait. Not just something old here. Uh, what? How quickly he set up shop again? Well, beside that, look, look at Stan. Yeah? He's calm. And quiet. Yeah. That's, uh, that's almost as disconcerting as the fact that he set all of this up so quickly and in the freaking tomb, willingly. Yeah, and he's so... He, he looks weirdly normal. Is this a trap? I wonder where their bodies are. Um, they are right in front of you. Now yeah, the skull, uh, this from the skulls oh. here. Can we use this? Pirates don't drink purified water. <laughs> okay. Um, they gladly will if they could. File cabinets. File cabinets. Yeah, that was easy enough. Mm, no. <laughs> Executive thingy. What is it about these things that makes them so popular in office settings? Um, I mean, I'm using to be Wait, what? Uh, uh, the, this, these things are called Newton cradles with the. Uh, yeah, this, the metal balls that click to and fro. It's it's pr pretty neat because it transfers kinetic energy through them. That's what's causing, uh, well, the next one, the last one in the batch to get smacked around, even though the middle ones don't move. Yeah. Do I think people found them brought a column to use and watch? Is that the photo that came huh? in the frame? Yeah, come on. No, that's my wife. Wish people would stop with that. <laughs> okay, so his wife is a stock photo. Okay, uh, wait. Hold on. Do you know how he responded? Yeah, oddly human. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Uh, has he had a? Okay, what's going on here? I'm, now I'm curious. What is going on? Sure sign of a fine, classy business establishment. The coffin lid desk is a nice touch. <laughs> it's Stan. Yes, what's with the paper? You've convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you there can afford we go. to buy an insurance policy, it's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. <laughs> I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. Okay. Uh, antique bottle? I don't think so. <laughs> Refrigerator magnet. Uh, the umbrella and authentic pirate tooth. That is, that is gold, so that could be. But uh, what if we, what if we can pawn off the? Uh, uh, actually, no. Wait. Is he me? Okay. We need the diamond. 
Uh, the, the, uh, this is the cursed diamond ring, I'm thinking. And it would please me immensely to see Stan turn to gold. How about an enormous uncursed diamond? How about that? Do you have an enormous uncursed diamond? Okay, no. But I'm yeah. like this close to getting one. Well, I'm this close to believing that you're trying to take advantage of my generosity. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to make me a serious offer. Hmm? This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate, only one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. Okay, those eyebrows are annoying me. Coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I can't tell if he's being... <laughs> If he's being honest or not, but yeah, we've got an insurance policy now. Yeah, it was just me. He was only less annoying salesman this time. Yeah, he he could have been locked in that coffin for quite a long time. So it could have been that he had a lot of time for self-reflection. Yeah, the, when we opened the box, it didn't sound like that. Uh, mutual, mutual of Stan. Open. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Hmm. Let's see. We're, if I recall, yeah, we need to get, we need to get the volcano to erupt. I think, and I can already see how the lava would normally be flowing through that. It, okay, not sure what would happen there if it would start flowing again. It split um, off. Uh, wait, I'm surprised it went that way, not through just straight yeah. to the ocean. It's actually just curved away. Yeah, I, I see a bit of a line there, so it could be that it originally went that way, but that it got redirected or something. Hmm. Possibly. I, I can see why, actually, because there's sheer cliffs on this side, and the only good landing areas are here and here. So re by redirecting it that way, they can actually stay in contact with the rest of the world. That is actually a nice bit of design that isn't outright stated. Yeah. Though, mm. it would create more areas to, well, put your harbor on. As uh, At least as long as the volcano is not too active in the area. Yeah. And you can even freaking see Stan's sign from the here. Oh, good. Bye, Odin. Hmm. Oh, and it's only a few pixels here, but you can still see that damn sh those damn sharks, yeah. or the damn triple shark, whatever. Yeah, I really want to know what that they are. Hmm. For now, though, I actually have no idea where the hell to go with this. Um. Haggis still wants something to do as a substitute for tar, which would likely be the cheese from here, but how the hell do we get that out? We likely also still need that fork for something. Can I have some fresh nachos? You could, except that the nacho maker has been broken for years. I would have gotten rid of the darn thing long ago, but I can't budge it. That congealed nacho cheese is tougher than pitch. It seeped through the broken glass and glued the machine <laughs> to the bar. Thanks anyway. Okay, so that explains, yeah, a lot about it. And, yeah, I wouldn't touch year-old cheese. Uh, but I, I know cheese is supposed to age like uh, wine and such, but that's in controlled areas. So <laughs> what? Yeah, it's certainly not and, melted. Yeah, I think we just also confirm your fear that it is supposed to replace the tar. Yeah. So, how uh, do we dislodge that then? Hmm? I got nacho cheese balls. 
This entitles the bearer of this document to the sum of a lot of money. Okay. It it feels freaking weird not to be getting scammed by Stan. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get her mad at me. Nah, I think she's already mad at you for wait, merely wait. existing. Wait, 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 wait. Go into that room. Oh, hello, we missed this before. That yeah, only seems to respect uh, this thing up. Wait. Oh. oh even faster. <laughs> okay, is there uh, a point to this except for maybe inducing a seizure? Okay, now it's just plain stopped. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Is that a Nostra Seas roll? I don't think that would be interested in a business card. Uh, really, Helium? <laughs> really? <laughs> I was more thinking like maybe cutting part of it with it, but yeah, it's extended family size processed cheese food spread. I believe we looked at it earlier and that it did extended say. Extended family size processed cheese food spread. I think this is the stuff they use to make nachos. Yeah. We basically need this, uh, I think we need this thing here to get to Haggis and Co. The question is how? Actually, we have a chisel yeah. now. I was just saying, the chisel might work. I can't use the chisel with that. Oh, okay. Chisel and a hammer? Chisel with that. No. Wait, what? Hmm. And yeah, I think we... I think we might not... I think we don't actually need to do anything with the cheese maker itself. I can't use the chisel with that. Okay. Hmm. Try to chisel some of the cheese. And the big one. Oh. Oh. Did not expect that, actually. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, any anything you want to say to me, Hillian? <laughs> Thanks for coming up with that, because I wouldn't have thought that for at least another two hours. You're most welcome, my friend. And now I can see it in the clouds, like a happy lizard. Let's see. Unmelted hunk of nacho <laughs> cheese. Hmm. Wait, um, oh. We need to melt we it, don't we? Still, let's take a look. I don't think he'd like that. Hmm. Okay, we can't interact with the other two. And how do we melt it? Yeah, Actually, I, I think we know, but we don't need that for. We don't need that for to give to them. We need that to throw into the mountain because it's lactose intolerant. Uh, oh. But we're still going to need to sneak in here somewhere. Block of so it tofu. could be for both. It could be for both. A block of tofu as big as my head. I think I know what we need to do. I'll have to pick it up first. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's bigger than his entire upper torso, if not his entire body. That looks like a mask. What the heck? Wait. Okay. Who <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <clears throat> Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis! Accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose. <laughs> free of all fat and trans fatty acids. So that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village. And not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss him in. <laughs> You've been a wonderful 
all audience, thank you and good night. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> uh, but... uh, wait, hold on. Those two other ones are new. Yep. We had. Uh, what were the other ones? We had lemon head. We had red head. The, the big the red skull. Um, what was the last one? Oh, the last one was something scary. Actually, it looked really scary. Hmm. It really, immediately they start. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's the leader of the cannibals. Wait, wasn't? Wasn't Big Head the Lady of the Cannibals before? Oh yeah, there was Big Head and... Red Face? And there were no, the I last one was one Blue, be, I believe. Yeah, the only one we surprised to remember easily was uh, Lemonade for, well, he really stood out from the others. Yeah. And uh, this is going to go terribly. I can't reach it. Yeah, no. Just throw it in, you dumbass. Oh, there we go. And time to GTFO. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! <laughs> and there it flows again. Yeah, and like we s said, we figured out it flows like wow. that. That was more spectacular than I'd hoped. <laughs> and uh, let's get out of here before they decide to stop being vegan cannibals. <laughs> okay. You know what? And that a bit of contradiction. Yeah, but that's half the joke with it. <laughs> Now, with the lava flowing again, um, what now? Actually, what? remember, there is a sci-fi species that would count as vegan cannibals. Okay. Floran from Starbound. Oh, yeah. Um, from uh, also uh, Wargrove. Yep, yep. Just how much did you get out of that thing, <laughs> guy Bros? Ah, so the cheese was meant for more than just the volcano. And, and we have the tofu mask still. Uh, we're going to need something to collect this in, though, unless... I guess I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Yeah, Here, or I that. Guess. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take it. Okay, I love that's that another step actor. done. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's just pretty good. Question is, what do we use the lotion for now? Yeah, uh, before I forget, is Van or Von Dutch? Uh, let's see. In the Dutch pronunciation, it would be Van. Um, yeah, Von is the Dutch version. And the the German version. <laughs> huh. Because that means one of my bands I like are not Germans, but Dutch. Van Canto. It says made with 100% pure lamb blubber. Mmm, soothing and nutritious. Lamb blubber. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I think I know what we need it for. I think it's a pun. Let's see if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. Okay. Now we carefully take that. The cursed ring exploded. Okay. <laughs> what? It would have been stupid if Guyverse managed to turn himself this gold here as well. It's Elaine's finger, ready for a new ring. Okay. I was hoping we produced for something else. Hmm. Like okay. giving it to Stan. <laughs> Um, we still have these fireflies here. Steve, I, I, I don't know what to think about Stan at the moment. Yeah. 
I do know that we'll see him again in one of the later, well, in uh, either the next game or the the one after. But we'll just have to see if he uh, strays from the <laughs> the path of not being an asshole. Hmm. Ea Grogman. Uh, yeah. The volcano has erupted. Yes, I know. The good soup empire is saved. Ah, oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Next to the day Grandpa invented the steak crispy and soup oyster cracker. Well, I'm happy for you. Soon the resort will be flooded with tourists coming to see the volcano. And I can finally put on the show I was working on the last time we had guests. What show is that? Voulez-vous vicious soirs? <laughs> A dramatic musical about a talented young Parisian soup chef who is cruelly taken down by the Paris culinary establishment for her revolutionary ideas about soup preparation. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. I was thinking about Ratatouille for a moment there. Yeah, it, wait, this game came way, way before Ratatouille. Yeah. <laughs> How's business? You would not be surprised oh, it was inspiration. Wonderful. Now that the volcano is erupting again, the reservations are just pouring in. Okay. Wait, already? Explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I guess, uh... <laughs> I guess parrots, uh, messenger parrots fly very fast. Or people were able to see the eruption. Also very likely, since those things t typically go uh, rather noticed. Hmm. But that still leaves us with where the hell to go. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the Good Soup family. Oh dear. Mm. It was more an interesting fact I learned a while ago. I think it was a volcano in the Philippines or around the area, I might be wrong. And when it exploded... Uh, it, this happened in the 1600s. It, it made a... A side effect on the entire planet. Yeah, Basically, some of them have that. It had an effect of making King that we even had snow for, I think, three, ten years in a row in summer. I've got five death cards. That can't be good. <laughs> that might mm. be one of some facts a bit wrong, but. It did some effect on the weather. Yeah, some of those volcanoes, if they w blow, they are going to have a long-lasting effect. Yeah, They're... that's why the people are so dedicated to monitor Yellowstone Rock Volcano. Yeah, uh, for those not in the know, Yellowstone Park is sat right on top of a super volcano that is just buried beneath everything. And if that thing were to blow bad, if some people speculate it could trigger another ice age. Yeah. And we all had, as I told you people ago, ago, a short moment ago here, a mini ice age and hello sharks. I, I say this, if, we, if those sharks just gonna be shown there as an entire tease without a revelation, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Okay, I forget if there was anything to do here. What? The, so, wait, where's my? Si oh wait, I ate my sandwich. Used for making rum. Oh yeah, sugar water. Um, is this oh, full? Gosh, sugar I I just learned something about sugar water today, and yes, I have a weird fact today. That doesn't need to be lathered up. Uh, hmm? You do you do you remember punk rockers having those long spiky hair? Yeah. Mohawks. It was not by it was not by uh, wax. Yeah, it was by okay. sugar water. <laughs> okay, so despite being a bunch of punks, they were still pretty sweet. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Ilya, no, why? <laughs> that fun is painful. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Lost Welshman uh, Fairyland. 
haunted sea cruises and whale watching excursions daily. Wait, what? No. I, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, there was a ferry that used to go between this island and the other one that we need to go to, where the diamond was actually taken. Mm, question is, how do we get the ferryman to come back? Hmm. Okay, I have no ideas actually, so let's check out the uh, <clears throat> the strategy guide. Let's see. Oh, apparently we need to trick Stan with the insurance thing. Let's see. Are uh, we going to kill him that we are dead? Okay, he needs documented proof that Guybrus is dead, slash was dead. Uh, ta -ta -ta. On Blood Island, the deaths of ordinary strangers aren't documented. They keep death records only of influential people or people from good families. He must get uh, buried in the okay in the good soup uh, crypt. But he's not a good soup, so how the hell is, are we going to get him into there? Must establish family connections. It's a bit. I don't think he, we have time to. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we have time for Guybrush to get married to one of the good soups, if there are any left. Okay, we need to trick the bartender into believing that we are uh, that they are related. Uh, um, Guybrush must learn good soup family history, and if you are playing Mega Monkey. Look like a good soup. Okay, so we don't have to. We we don't need to. Yeah, we don't need a disguise, so we can skip that one. Um, alter a portrait. Yeah, that's probably going to need. That's probably going to be for Mega Monkey. But let's take a look. All the same. I I think that's why this one is like this. That you could collect it and edit it then, because it is the most visible of the ones that we can actually interact with. So, I, I say that, and we can look at these as well. It's Count Gaspacho Good Soup, the cold-hearted canning magnet. <laughs> what? It's the Duchess Cream of Good Soup, of the Noodle Good Soups. <laughs> Did uh, you write these, Hillian? Nope. You sure? Hmm. Let's see then. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Cabo doesn't have any oil paints. Change it. Another, another way to put his face on the portrait. Scissors to cut it out. Yeah, but we there can't interact with this one. So yeah, I think this is, yeah, that is for the higher difficulty version. So let we we can skip that. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. I learned something today. Oh, do I, it's one of those days I learned something else today. It's about the guy brush. Yeah. And I'm sure I have waited, don't notice this, but I have the damn game. He is a skin in one of the Star Wars Unleashed games. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah! And I seen him, and I wouldn't know when my friend told me about it, that he just told me, oh. Okay, I'm so looking it up after stream. <laughs> yeah, I, and I have it on PS3. It was. <sighs> Many people were disappointed with it for how short it was. And how much they had to pay for it, but feel a few times and you'll lock him as a Jedi. We've met. Who are you? <laughs> I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well, oh, this was once our proudest resort. Uh, but it lost all its popularity after the regular eruptions of Mount Acidophilus stopped. Why do I get the feeling that Acidophilus is like <laughs> uh, a medicine against uh, something? <laughs> uh, it sounds like a pun. Uh oh, wait, 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 hold on. Look at the third option. Uh, tell me the whole ring story again. No, no, no. F f oh, wait, fourth, fourth. 
One more. How can I... Okay, how can I get out to Skull Island? Yeah, that's going to talk about the ferryments, but yeah, that, that's Wait some info that we it, need. It, yeah. Skull Island. Yeah. <laughs> There's always an island called Skull Island in Pirate Worlds. <laughs> oh, right, I was thinking of uh, King Kong as such. I thought Don't know, worry, they're going to do that. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, huh? Uncle Griswold, it's me! Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? <laughs> Wonton. Wonton? I spent several years in the Orient. <laughs> I don't recall having any relatives with that name. Hmm. Okay. So... I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Okay, I think that means what... Yeah, yet we need to go through... I don't think we can... Nah. That's. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the good soup. Yeah, family. we already knew that. Are you going to open it's it up? It's full of all the dates and nope. fun facts you'd ever want to know about the good soup family. Okay... Hmm. That that book feels like a jab at me at the moment, due to I've been doing a lot of fun facts at the moment. Do we just hand it over or something? My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Okay. There's a bit of a gap in the strategy guide here. Then, Let's see, it goes from how to uh, how can I get the bed to stay down? Can't find any nails, and then already in the crypt. Let's see. <laughs> I need to brush up on good soup family history. There's a book about it in the bedroom. Yeah, it doesn't say how we actually need to use it. Uh, there is maybe up here with the painting, but I'm not sure if we need to do that. Since, well, it was, we can't interact with it. Go through the, and look through the window on the from the window on the door um it, it front button hmm it's a door with a porthole in it for that nautical accent oh i would hate that yeah definitely would be a <laughs> a privacy issue just like mm. your door. Yeah, it isn't completely see-through. It still has that haze thing over it. But yeah, I I really want to replace that thing with a big solid wooden thing. Not just because uh, uh, you can partially see through it, but also because so much fucking sound comes through that thing. Yeah, and if you are very lucky and it gets loose, someone may lose a toe. Yeah, luckily it shouldn't be, it shouldn't shatter, It's n or at least not shatter into sharp shards. Hmm. Let's see, how do we get the, what we need out of that stupid thing? Yeah. Let's just try everything here. I could just talk about good soup history all day. How about that first fateful journey made to the Caribbean? Oh, you mean the one that... Ah. Uh, Baron yeah. Bisque de Good Soup began in 1621? Exactly. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. No, he's reminiscing, but he's, he's not looking. He had formed the largest <laughs> chain of all soup restaurants in the Western Hemisphere. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean. Van Salad. restaurant empire that spanned the globe. Actually, the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637. And the Good Soup chain of restaurants and resorts never did become popular in the South Pacific. Yes, we are. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Just well, quick to ignore so that. Looks like you were right. <laughs> Welcome back to the glorious name of Good Soup. <laughs> I'm, uh, honored. And as a Good Soup, you're welcome to every benefit the name provides. 
instant prestige around Blood Island. A 10% discount to any of the good soup resorts in the Caribbean. And, of course, medical, dental, and a 401k. And the best thing of all, if you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extravagant good soup family crypt. <laughs> it's as if all my dreams have come true. <laughs> uh, I should I should look this up uh, sometime. But what the hell is a four hundred one k? Is that like a pension plan or something? <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard that before. Okay. Um. Let's see. I believe if we mix this with a drink, we we pass out. So let's get a drink. Like a drink, please. Sure, sure. Okay. Then we spike it. And Hello. down the hatch it goes, and down the guy brush goes. Is he going to trip again? Nope. He's just going to keel over. had a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. Oh, and just as we were getting reacquainted, as his kinsman, it is my duty to give him a proper burial. It is my solemn vow. The late lamented wanton good soup <laughs> shall be buried in the good soup family crypt. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Just chisel your way out of there. Yeah, bloody heck, this tomb. This is quite a bit different than the other one. Yeah, it looks a bit nicer. In comparison. Yeah. And I actually put that uh, female but Don't take uh, that out of context, people. Don't take that out of context. The statue? I mean, the statue yeah, I thought, I thought also I thought he was looking at me. Wait, is it? Hey, there's a hole in the ceiling of this crypt. I think I might be able to squeeze through. <laughs> wow, it's a tunnel that opens on a deep, dark forest. It looks familiar somehow. <laughs> I've seen it. Before. Or maybe it's. Oh, I don't know. Great jumping monkeys! A terrifying horde of stunningly rendered rabid jaguars! They're coming right at me! Whew. It's a good thing I couldn't get through that hole. I'd be done for. <laughs> was that a... That was Melee Island's forest, yeah. <laughs> was that an Easter egg? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Really? <laughs> yeah good soup so of course they're going to make statues with freaking soup it's a memorial plaque for mini strony good soup yep mini strony <laughs> that's that is certainly a type of soup i'm pretty sure yeah uh, uh, um uh, it, it's a ghost in a bride's gown she looks very sad and lonely Oh, oh, the story about the ring and oh. uh, her getting stood up. Uh oh. Morbid. Tastefully done. <laughs> of course, he takes a few steps back away from the ghost, but let's crack oh. that. <laughs> oh, hello there. Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Mini Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup debutantes. I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. A wedding day that never came. What happened? I was the Belle of Blood Island. How many people can claim that? Oh, how the lads adored me. I was courted by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. But all my suitors bored me to tears. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. By the way, what do you do for a living? Uh -oh. oh. <laughs> then one day, 
A real pirate sailed his ship into the bay. I fell for him instantly, and we became engaged. But he left me standing at the altar, and I died of a broken heart. Wow. That fights. Oh, I know. Uh, all the times he wants to brag about being a mighty pirate, and now he chooses to uh, smartly shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, it, I. Something just okay, made me think of uh, here a bit. What if the pirate was Le Shock? Hmm. Not. Would depend on how the time was, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised of him being such a bastard. Were there any other suitors you found attractive? Well, <laughs> there was one I could have fallen for. Young Charles de Goulash. <laughs> he had such a radiant smile. What happened to him? You know, it's funny. I don't know. He checked into the hotel one night and I never saw him again. Oh. Uh -oh. Um. How do I get out of this? There's no way out of this crypt for either of us. I must haunt this lonely tomb until I've married a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door's locked. Yeah, that's a lot more of. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot more of a reasonable reason. From what I thought, uh, she's going to try and marry Guybrush, isn't she? <laughs> Wait, is this... Oh... We are to marry the one that died in the bed, aren't we? Yep. Also, why hey, are the... Nice ring. <laughs> Was it something I said? I hate this ring. It's been passed down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. Uh, you were going to say? Sorry about that. Uh, do you see the rest in peace ribbon? Yeah. Behind her? Do you see what they replaced the flowers with? <laughs> Carrots. Carrots, corn, potatoes, and some other vegetables. Oh, I see even a leak. Yeah, really, I'm not seeing any rain come through. <laughs> I think that most of those are ingredients for soups. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that they would have tried to make turn this thing into a soup after the burial. <laughs> Gods. Uh, it's been a while since I've had soup. Should probably go for a uh, yeah, tomato or maybe a uh, mushroom. <laughs> go into the light. If only it were that easy. I'm afraid I can never leave this crypt until I marry. Are you attached? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What a shame. You sure have pretty eyes. Oh. Hmm. Um, I think we should hurry, Hillian. Yeah. I'm worried. How do I get out of this crypt? There's no way out of this crypt for either of us. I must haunt this lonely okay, this is a repeat. I married a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door's locked. This is just a shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, again, really nicely animated in bits that... Probably they wouldn't even need to, with the ghostly uh, wind blowing through her. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why Angels with the Bull Soup feels so unsettling. Uh, less unsettling than biblically accurate angels, which have apparently fallen back into... Uh, back the cemetery. <clears throat> ...have fallen uh, into favor again with memes. Oh yeah, those. 
I think most of them I saw was from Bayonetta. Let's see. Yeah, even those wouldn't be technically accurate to what the Bible says, because I believe one of the depictions of uh, angels in there is like a, a, a bunch of metal rings spinning around each other with eyes all over them. Or... Yeah, oh, actually, there's one angel I know for some reason with uh, flawlessly in my head. The original version of Seraphim, before they made it many winged angel, original version of Seraphim is a burning serpent. Okay. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Why do I get the feeling that we're never going to use this stupid thing? Or we're hmm. gonna use it way later. For now, though. Uh, the chisel is too small to work on these bars. Okay, something bigger. Just mat whack it. Use the mallet with that. No. The uh, umbrella. I can't use the umbrella with that. No. Okay, then I'm a bit stuck. So let's take a hint. Uh, Gyrus is trapped. He must. He must attract help from outside. Okay. Uh, it's someone who lives nearby. The cemetery custodians quarters, okay, are on the other side of the of the crack behind the coffin. Okay, something we, we overlooked. There's a nice bit of music with this. It's a lot louder. And I just noticed that there's another pan of soup there. Yeah, hmm. okay. I've, okay, I think the reason I feel of the with ancient is probably due to its... Is it in a damn crypt? Oh. We missed this. <laughs> oh, that no. crack. We were not the first here. <laughs> uh, hello? Helian, you and your big mouth. Yep. Oh, I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own uh, fault. Stop scaring me like that. So I did scare you? Really? Well, startled is more like it. Oh. <laughs> uh, startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. <laughs> I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn, I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean. So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Something like that. <laughs> it's Murray. Uh, how the hell did you get over here from uh, <laughs> being hung on the voodoo lady's front lawn? Good question. It's Murray. I don't want to get caught up in a conversation with Murray right now. Okay. Uh, good crack. soup is food? What? Well, it is, it is true, no? Good soup is yeah. food. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's have a look through here. Oop. Yeah, there he is, Mort. Healy. <laughs> a pirate Godzilla. Oh no, it has a peg leg. <laughs> I've seen YouTubers from Australia that put peg leg on their uh, testing dinosaur that survived many deep falls. <laughs> and. Uh, why? Why is, the, why is the rabbit hung? Cloying, yet grisly uh, at the same time. Uh oh. Uh, look next to the bunny. That little uh, chuck mask. Looks like a Halloween mask. Oh. Wait. It's the stuff that really boring dreams are made of. Yep. Why do we get the feeling we're going to need to steal that? It's a glowing Moby. Lantern. Moby Dick. It's the poster for some really trashy monster book. Trust me, it'll never sell. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oop. Didn't mean to click off. It's a poster for Suckers 12, the beaking. <laughs> Spooky. Uh, trophies. It's hard to see what it is from where I was standing. Judging by the beard, I'm guessing it's a goat. <laughs> it's either a dead parrot or a very strange bat. <laughs> oh, come on! Oop, more it's novel. It looks like he's writing a horror novel. It's called The Grog That Drank People, part one of a three book cycle. I wonder why trashy media always comes in threes. Uh, must be a goat. I feel offended. That must be the gravedigger. It's a poster for some dumb book about undead pirates. He's certainly a novel uh, lover. Pulpy There's books. A bunch of cheesy horror stories. Wait, zombies ate my. I can't read the last one there down there with the books close to us. Um. Yeah, it's it's a bit too dark to see. Uh, let's see. Zombie Ace ate my... Yeah, the last word is covered up partially, so can't even see. I think we're going to have to mess with this lantern. I can't reach. It's a glowing lantern. I just realized that there is an ace storm song called Zombies Ate My Pirate Ship. <laughs> I can't use the umbrella with that. We're going to have to how, poke this thing. I I, I'm still trying to figure out how did zombies eat a pirate ship? Actually, can we shove Murray through to I this? I can't reach. No. Hmm. Okay. Hey, mister! Help! What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort, the grave digger? There's been a horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no joke. I'm really trapped in here. Crazy kids with your long hair and your Baroque music. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Wait, that's been, this has been pulled on him before. Baroque music. You must love horror stories to own all these collectibles. Reading fantastic stories about the dead helps me keep my mind off my work. Um, Why are you wasting your money on all this bad fiction? At least my bad fiction doesn't require over a thousand dollars in hardware. I see your point. I think I'm missing something there. <laughs> Let me out of this crypt! I'm not falling for your tricks this time. Just leave me alone and let me read my horror novels. This isn't a trick. I'm really trapped in this crypt. I drank a special potion that put me into a coma. Thinking I was dead, they buried me in this crypt. Yeah, right. They did that in the book. Never trade lunches with a corpse. If you kids ever came up with an original idea, I might believe you. Just come and look at me through this crack. Oh, sure. I turn my back to the door and you thieving little hoodlums will sneak up from behind and tie me up. I read all about your sinister ways in my horror novels. So, nothing doing. Are there even Wait. kids on this stupid island? Uh, good question. Curses, you've seen through my web of deceit. I'm no ordinary man trapped in a crypt. Well, what are you then? <laughs> my fast and light ship is trapped in the South Pet Anomaly, that's Star Trek. Uh, I seek the golden rods of Cathan to bring peace to the Shire. Uh, not sure about that. Yeah, supposed to be. Lord of the Rings, maybe? I'm pretty sure Kufan is a Kufulu thing, and I wonder what he blended the Shire in. And we're, we, have, we haven't used this line in ev any of the previous games, but it kept popping up, so let's see what it does this time, if, if it does anything. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. I'm a vegan. I hate the exploitation of animals. Really? <laughs> but what about all those stuffed heads on your wall? Well, only one of those is real. What I meant to say was... I'm an angry and deranged ghost haunting this crypt. Then, let me see you appear before me. Excuse me? If you were a real spirit, you could materialize in a ghostly form. It's all in the books. 
Well, let's see it. Isn't the ominous sound of my disembodied voice proof enough? I guess not. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to put something in front of that lantern. I'm gonna go sulk in the darkness now. Have a good time. <laughs> okay, but what could... Well, we could put Murray in front of it. Uh, the toe mask is too big. Hmm. There were cards? But we can't, still can't... Work with that. Hmm. Yeah, I think those cards are a bit too sh thick for that. Yeah. Otherwise, I think I know what you were trying to do. Okay, another hint then. Uh, Mort isn't being very helpful. So that's I. Uh, you must scare him. Okay, what will get Mort out of his bed? Because he's scared of ghosts. A visit from a scary ghost might do. Or at least the appearance. Use the lantern in his... Okay, but we can't reach it. Guy push Madrid through, but his arm is too big. Oh, finally. We... <laughs> Uh, we were just talking about uh, this. How this was seemingly not having any use. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? Okay. Um. Now we need to mix something in with it. Maybe one of the cards. Fortune telling won't work with that. No. Uh, do we stick Murray in there? <laughs> yes, we stick Murray in there. Murray, do your stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is impressive. Release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free, or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, that was impressive, Murray, Shadow Play. I, I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There, it's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. <laughs> Okay, That's can we still cut this? Me. Now that it's out of oil. Okay. <laughs> oh. uh, okay. We have a good leading uh, leads on where to go now, and yeah, I'm I'm guessing we won't ever get an answer as to how the hell Murray got well, up there. Murray, are you ready to continue our oh. heady adventuring? Murray. Uh, Where'd he go? Hey. Okay, back to our solo trip. Where did he go? Did he just jump out of our inventory? Hmm. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? <laughs> ah, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. Uh, I think you're just um... sick of you, Guybrush. Hmm. Actually, I think uh, I know oh, of how we're... Oh, no! <laughs> All right. Uh, catapult loaded and ready. Pirate will. <laughs> but... <laughs> Wait. Wait, you were. Oh, you freaking lazy bones. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. I was just. Charles? Charles de Goulash? Is it really you? Minnie! It's been so <laughs> long. Oh, Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Lost some weight. Why, you look exactly the same. Uh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. 
But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. No. Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh. Marry me. Oh, yes, Charles. Yes, a thousand times, yes. Then kiss me, my love. His next straight in battle of a sudden. Nope. Uh, okay, very surprised statue. <laughs> okay. Let's just grab that. <laughs> so. He was just freaking asleep the whole time in that thing. <laughs> I was just, I was expecting we just launch his skeleton into here and that'd be that. <laughs> She'd run off with him or something. But no, the motherfucker was still, well, well, technically, unalive. <laughs> Undead. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. Meanwhile, somewhere beneath Monkey Island, so that's a new addition. Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? Yeah. <laughs> She's not on Plunder Island, Captain Lichuk. Then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me, Guy Brush Threepwood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride! And more slaw! Curse the villains! They never give you enough slaw with these <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so far, zombie, <laughs> zombie uh, LeChuck stays my favorite design, but it's still LeChuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Hmm. Actually. We didn't need to scam a uh, stand this time, it seems. Hmm. Or do we need to do that later? Are we going to need to play dead yet again? Hey, we're actually... We did they already get the money from him by now? Uh, no, we'd need to trade it in. Uh, we'd need to bring the insurance over to him, but we need documentation of the, uh, the death. So I'm guessing we could get that from uh, Good Soup here. Um, okay, apparently not. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Hmm. And yeah, then once again we need to find out what to do. Then this time it'll probably involve, actually involve the ferryman. Let's see. Who isn't here? Hmm. Actually, I think I know what needs to be done. We need to turn on the lighthouse for that to work. But Ooh, that for that, we're going to need... We, we're going to need to land... Actually... We have... Or we know where we can get an oil lamp. But it's out of oil. What this... What did hand lotion do as lands on oil? Maybe well, only one way to find out. The ones with alcohol would. For you know, the hand sanitizers do come with a label of "keep away from fire." Yeah. Oh, he's walking up to it. I don't want to lubricate that. Yeah. Oh, mm. come. Let's see, was there something in here about something very flammable? Yep. Very possible. Let's check. Uh, let's see. 
Shake with ice, blend, strong warm, mix with hook, mucus green, drink tequila, toss everything out the window. Uh, hmm, already seen that. If symptoms persist, treat with alcohol, of course. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to need something for oil. Hmm. Okay, next hint. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Okay, Guybrush died as a good soup, but Stan still doesn't believe he's dead. Uh, he needs a death certificate. Mm hmm. Okay. Which is going to be kept in the back room, apparently. Hmm. But I, <laughs> I did not expect the goulash to still be. Oh, hello. To still be <laughs> active. I'll put it that way. Must be a real lazy bones for him just sleeping there for who knows how many decades. Well, he might be in stock. <laughs> well, he still kept laying even after we freed him. Welcome back to Mutual of Stab. Okay, that, that eyebrow wiggling is really annoying me for some reason. Thank you for the information. Now I know how to terrorize you if you ever meet in real life. <laughs> I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, I've got your proof right here. A death certificate. Well, this must be some kind of mistake. Uh-uh, it's right there in high-res black and white. I die. Give me a lot of money. Yeah, at least he's actually checking it. Hmm. It looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just give me my money. That's what I <laughs> Oh, thanks. Okay, now we have money for the ferry. Uh, now we just need to get the ferry here. Hmm. Okay, next part is speaking of, no, the bone uh, duo. There we go. The what Best now? way to get the skull. No, the, mar <laughs> the married couple. Oh, uh, but they're still here. Uh, no, they yeah, that was the next uh, in line with the strategy guide. Uh, let's see. How can I find the last Welshman? He needs a beacon. Yeah. The lighthouse, as we surmised. Okay, lantern we already have. Well, let's see. Make one using a jar, and oh, the, the fire... Okay, I know fireflies give off light, but not that strong. Okay, so we need an empty jar, and then go firefly catching. Don't underestimate fireflies. Jars for my tips. Put it back. But I was gonna put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm gonna have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. But if you can't carry it with you, then why, how would you be able to carry the jar filled with it? <laughs> oh, God, was a little scamp. Okay. Uh, jar lid, okay. There we go. They won't fly into the jar for no reason. Hmm. Okay, and something to lure them in. Uh, I very much doubt that. Cheese? Uh, that doesn't need to be lathered up. Yeah, we're, we don't have any more cheese. We have a cork, but... Oh, I there's don't a think cork. There's... 
I don't want to lubricate that. A uh, Mr. Mm. Decorp for cheese. Well, the doggy treats won't do any good with that. My mask of tofu won't do anything here. That doesn't look hungover at all. <laughs> hmm. Okay, must attract them to the jar. Sweet things attract flies. Uh, let's see. Candy. First, we Putting need to... an empty jar on that stump won't do anything. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Here. Oh. Rum water. Well, yeah, rum is sweet. <laughs> With a, a U, not an O. Rum. Wait, 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 what did I say? Uh, no, I, I thought you were, yeah, I thought you were referencing to rum. No, no, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the drink, not the person. Uh, from uh, what we've uh, seen so far, rum it could be anything. <laughs> it's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. No grog. Yeah, yeah you're grog looking at grog well. there. <laughs> and there we go. The conga line of fireflies. And then we just send them to life They're imprisonment. And like mad. <laughs> I guess they are probably pretty oh, mad as well. No. You already picked it up. Yeah, okay. I think they're very drunk. Uh, oh, they had fireflies. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need air holes in this. I need to use the jar with something else. I've poked holes in the lid of the jar. Uh, yeah, we all. <laughs> okay, that was <laughs> that's actually pretty smart of them. There's no light. <laughs> A lot of games probably would have uh, skipped that. Uh, how do we I get the... Holes in the, lid of the jar. How do we get that off? I can't use the crowbar with that. Hmm. So how much is this? Is... This is a lot of money. <laughs> okay, just a lot. But seriously, how do we get the lid off? We're going to the stump again? They didn't remove the lid? Oh, he removed it himself already. Okay. Probably just in a bit of easy mode to ensure that, yeah. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. If we were on the hard or normal mode with this, we probably would have had to remove it manually. But for now, let there be light. The is working now. Okay. And that should. Yep, yep, there they are. Okay, looking <laughs> a bit worse for wear from being lost in the fog for years on end. He has a floating west? Hmm. You could have. Intimidating. You could have said that from all the way around. <laughs> how long have you been. How long have you had that sandwich with you? Who are you? Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. <laughs> really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. <laughs> I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will risk these rough waters no more. For too long have I rocked that watery cradle of death. Freaky imagery. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not going out there again until I'm sure I can make it there safely. I need a compass. Okay. How will being able to draw perfect circles get you out to Skull Island? Not that kind of compass. <laughs> the directional kind. If you find me one, I'll take you to Skull Island. Yeah, compasses are kind of a number one priority when being out on sea. 
Okay, so that is where we get need the pin for, I think. We need to magnetize that. Hmm. Wait, now, magnetize. What else? Wait, Rina, do you have a rock floor? Yeah, uh, what floor? Do you have oh, a rug? rug, rug, blip, yeah, rug. <laughs> I, I thought that you meant rock. <laughs> but yeah, you, you could technically use like static electricity to kind of give it a charge, but it wouldn't be a magnetic charge, I think. Oh, damn it. All right, so we have one thing that we need for a compass, but we need other stuff as well. Actually, okay. there we go. Now we need to magnetize that still. But beyond that, we just need a bowl of water or something to, to hold it in. And you have an impromptu uh, compass. Hmm. All right. Then there must have been stuff that we've missed again. Uh, it's, I think it's called a water compass. Yep. Hmm. Okay, let's have a check. Mirror. Oh, that's for the hard mode. Okay, the Welshman. Compass. No one on Blood Island ever goes anywhere, so there's no compass on the end. You must make one. Uh, uh, Magnetized needle. Use the magnet from the... Oh, refrigerator magnet. I forgot we had that thing. Okay. Really? Uh, yeah, refrigerated magnet. I, th I forgot. I thought this was a, <clears throat> cool. a, a stamp or something. Stuck in it. The mind boggles at the possibilities. Okay, something that will hold water. And wait. Okay, something is wrong. There is something. Oh. Okay. Oh no, that was just an in-between bit. It, yeah, for a moment it looked like someone had print, had copied over the guide, but no, it's just an in-between you know, few pages. Okay. Okay, the native village? Uh, oh? He gone with that. It would make sense, but sense, but you see yourself. Let's see, fruits and vegetables, chafing dish, ornamental skulls, and oh, measuring cup. Okay. And auger? It's an auger. It's an auger. That doesn't explain what an auger is. Um, you sure you want to know? Probably not. Okay. Hmm. Wait, I think I was... Oh, damn it. I forgot myself what an auger is. It is a tool, though. I get the feeling it's supposed... It's used with bloodletting or something. Uh, okay. No, actually not. As far as I remember. Now we just need to fill this with water somewhere. Wait. I know someone would might know how to use an auger. Hmm. Here then. Madam Seema. Uh, probably, yeah. For if I'm right, I might be wrong here. It's full of seawater. Auger. Auger is used for augury. It's, it's a. Form of hey, future tennis. Oh, pardon. When you know the secret. <clears throat> it's basically a way of uh, telling the future. Okay. Hmm. For now, though, we have our improvised compass. <laughs> Here, take this compass. It's not much of one, but it is one. This is a compass. Of course. See how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? That was nothing. Okay, will you carry us over now? I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, I presume we can go back again at some point if need be. I hope so. 
Hmm. And back into the mist we go. Even Oop. the bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of Skull Island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a Wait, what? What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck <laughs> Island. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway, see that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Kruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless <laughs> as he is false. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, I was saying okay. it looked like a freaking dodo. Um. Uh, hello. I think we might it might have skipped over something, but let's see. I bet he can help me find the smuggler's cave. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Meets me. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> uh, I, I I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. <laughs> Never used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's Lafoot. Okay. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You, you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Actually, more like 120. Oh. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this. Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Oop. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Okay, I, I thought he was... I thought he fell down okay, instantly. That's too much slack. Ah! Oop. Here. Uh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a good thing that guy brought bounces. Not yet. Uh, okay, Flying Welshman, uh, what would you rate that flail? Wait, wait, Flying Welshman? Yep. Oh, oh, Hillian, are you alright over there? Yeah, I know the pun, we've heard it before from the story uh, from the resort owner from Good Soup. <laughs> yeah, it, I hope you don't mind competition. Okay, we're going to need something to reinforce this thing, I think. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I got the skull island that I keep falling off. The elevator is unreliable. Guybrush need a parachute. Okay, or something that likes li acts like one. Uh, there was a sheet that acted as one, but I don't think we saw that again. Let's see. Unless it, uh, it might be in the crypt. Oh. I see. That that is why we had to eat. Uh, we do have something that uh, a certain British character can use as a parachute. Down the cliff thing again. All right. I, I think I'm getting better at this. Please be careful this time. No problem. Oh yep. Here we go. Talking about Haggis Kilt. Nope. I got it. Thank I got goodness. It. Oh. There we go. 
And Guy versus uh, freaking Mary Poppins. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Uh, the, there, wait, neighbor. I'm not a bunny? Wouldn't you know, but I'm fresh out. Go away. Darn. Let me try that again. Wait, why are there so many bunnies? Uh, this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? Uh, Hob at him, Croft. Darn, let me try that again. Uh, we saw that earlier with the grave uh, digger. Uh, these are smuggle bunnies, so smugglers. <laughs> oh, for love of. <laughs> They're smuggling smuggle bunny. Uh, <laughs> so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... Uh, wait, friend Gouder fans from Gentleman. <laughs> uh, let's get good soup into trouble. With wait, this. wait, 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 wait. Wanton good soup. Too late. Well, Mr. Three. Yep. Hey, how did you know my. It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. LeChuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. Wait. Please? Please? Sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here for the right price. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, so right. it was LeChuck who stole the, uh, the diamond? So... Bloody heck, LeChuck. And also, before I forget, you, you, you looked at a very long name, right? Yeah. I think that that was a Monty Python reference. <laughs> uh, could be, it. yeah. The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. Hmm. <laughs> that diamond belongs in a museum. You're not in the guy, brush. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood, but it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> My partner is right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards. Uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes. Uh-oh. Fair. <laughs> yeah, they're going to cheat. Could you stop laughing like that? It's very unnerving. So... Mr. Threepwood, the question is do you care to join us in a game of cards? Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. <laughs> you will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I'd better only give them part of it. Yeah. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> then I'll give you a brief explanation. The game is the simplest variety of five card start. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? <laughs> oh. Of course I trust you. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Let us begin. No whammies. Uh... No whammies. Take a moment to look at your cards. Okay, uh, I think that we can't. Um, table cards. Can we swap these? Uh, or can we stack them? Five of a kind. Right there. 
Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous <laughs> smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I am talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. <laughs> now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. Oh. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiots! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for nope. you, little... <laughs> Hit him, not me, you creepin'! <laughs> <laughs> and he's out. Get him! Got what I need from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. <laughs> There's just one thing I need to do first. Really? What's that? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Yeah. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Help! Help! Ah! <laughs> Okay, I think I was just committed murder. Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guy Brash. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Sky <laughs> Island. Oh. Or you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. <laughs> oh, oh, what the... oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? <laughs> East by northeast. You can't miss it. <laughs> oh, thanks a bunch. <sighs> ah, whoops. I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass like properties for a short uh, time. And he's stuck uh... back in the. He missed. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's no. going to kill us. Uh. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. Okay. Well, now we have the finished ring. So let's go uncurse Elaine. <laughs> and add another name to the list of definitely is going to Gale Kyros in his sleep one day. Uh oh. And back on Monkey Island. Yep. Uh. <laughs> ah, another group of recruits for my army of the undead. Now, how goes the search for my bride to be? Where's Dingy Dog? I found him. I found him. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, golly, oh gosh. Yep, yep. That's right. <laughs> uh, they're on Blood Island, sir. Get them. Okay, making an amusement park. <laughs> Murdering the, the guests. Well, that's a way to um, make an on that army. What the heck? I don't know what to say. Uh, other than then, here goes. And she's so going to hit Kyvers. Brush? Where? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. I was about to start a countdown, but I didn't need to. <laughs> Kiss of the spider monkey. Um, uh, look at the monkey up there. Yeah. That be well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream. I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freepwood. 
T'was not long ago that I trapped ye here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've seen this place before. It's some terrible nightmare. T'was no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Again with Star Wars. Oh no, it can't be. But it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. Aye, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intended to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine a treasure. Ah, uh, you're wasting your time, LeChuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. Yeah. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with you. Okay. <laughs> so I guess this does sort of explain the ending. Uh... Yeah, it was probably seemingly all an illusion, so that uh, LeChuck could fuck with Skybrush. Uh, likely tried to kill him, but <laughs> somehow he managed to stumble his way through. Heck, and so much for you saying he, that they dropped that uh, part of the story completely. Uh, I, I guess people said that to keep this surprise. Uh, but yeah, here we are at Big Whoop again, aka the Carnival, uh, <clears throat> Carnival of the Damned. Or, yeah, Carnival of the Damned. Or, why was I thinking festival? I didn't hear a single yeah. F there. Yeah, it, I'm guessing there was a cut content that was about you escaping that carnival, but those were people reacted and felt like, let's not, let's not have mm. a kid version of uh, Guybrush and all that. Maybe. Now, before <laughs> before LeChuck's clothes catch fire, let's move on. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood. But I tell thee, the Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Ooh. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves! Uh, also, isn't this a bit overkill with all the dynamite? What the <laughs> then again, Yeah! Then again, Guyverse has escaped him time and time again, so he's just going to make big fucking sure. <laughs> oh dear. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did, down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all, immortality. But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now. Really? And the smell does take a while to get used to. But it'd be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. Uh, 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 Lechuk, if, if your nether regions are burning, I believe there are salts for that. No comments. This whole amusement park, why? The Big Whoop Carnival was my most brilliant idea. Once I had the power of Big Whoop at my command, I could make Elaine mine at last. I see. But again, why an amusement park? I'll be getting to that. I knew Elaine would need a little coaxing, and that I'd be needing an army. A horrible army of the undead. Okay, but why an amusement park? <laughs> going to let me finish? I'm not talking just to hear myself talk, you know. You're right. <laughs> just poopy lips. <laughs> Everyone knows that the life of a seaman is a long, hard, lonely one. Sailors spend months longing for just a few days' leave. And you know what they're looking for as soon as they get into port. Eh? 
pretty sure Guybrush hasn't spent a single week out on sea in his entire life. Um, a family-oriented fun park. Oh, that. <laughs> of course. They come to take a ride on the giant roller coaster, the Great Monkey Mountain. They reach the top of the highest peak and then hands in the air, screaming like monkeys. They plunge down the slope into a great stream of lava. That doesn't sound the least bit fun. Aye, it's not. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when they reach the other side, they're fitting warriors for my skeletal army of the damned. It is, in a way, pretty smart because, yeah, with with roller coasters, you're used to people screaming. Uh, you just uh, have to confuse the screams of uh, excitement and fear uh, <laughs> with the uh, <laughs> screams of "Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm burning alive!" Yeah. <laughs> and also, I just realized you you made the wrong statement about the guy brush. Yeah, there, he, there is on the first Monkey Island game that they do spend a long time out on sea. But beyond that, I'm pretty sure that Guybrush is uh, <laughs> as wet behind the ears as can be when it comes to actual pirating. Don't forget the second game. Um, you know, yeah, there was travel enter. between... Bed. Yeah, that, no, that, that was travel between the islands, but I don't think it would take him full months to get from one island to the other. <laughs> But well, I would explain how they got messy. It, it, it would explain how they had the time to catch up on uh, Guy Brush's crimes to put on that wanted poster. And we actually missed that. But every time you progress in the story, uh, your new crimes are listed on that wanted poster. So it will go on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> Big bloody heck. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that is something that I'm kind of sad we missed out on. <laughs> Anyways, that is an easy oversight. Lane, won't she hate you even more? I at first, but soon she'll be understanding what a grand gift eternal life be. And besides, the dating pool will be surprisingly small when you're the living dead. <laughs> she'll just have to give me another chance. <laughs> Um, well, I, I guess uh, having your own fire to roast marshmallows or sausages on would be an advantage. <laughs> Thank you for the flashback of what happened today. Uh, what no, then? my beer was not on fire. But I was covered in uh, Danish bread. <laughs> hmm. I've got a bit of a feeling that we are very close to the end of the game. So let's extend the stream a bit to see if that is. If it's not, then uh, yeah, then we'll just have to see next week. But for now, let's continue on. How did you find Big Whoop? That be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Aye. Go on then. <laughs> we're alive. Elaine despised me. No. No, 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 it's true. I can see that now. She didn't like me at all. But I were determined to prove me worth to her, you see. So, I set sail to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. What is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island. I could tell you, but I'd rather make you guess. <laughs> Uh... It's made from people? I have no idea what you're talking <laughs> Those were all about. references, I think. No, it goes much deeper than that. Soylent Green. <laughs> ancient secret, closely guarded uh, by the natives and uh, pirates who happened to... You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> droopy, <laughs> droopy Lechuk. My ship was caught in a terrible typhoon and was torn apart. I would have drowned, but some friendly sharks found me and set me ashore on Blood Island. 
I think I might have mentioned that it was LeChuck earlier, because in the... Uh, uh, earlier it said uh, Guybrush mentioned LeChuck as well with it. Uh, it could have been him putting the pieces together. All right, LeChuck! Yeah! Was she hot? Did you kiss her? Well, uh, I... Uh, <laughs> oh, come on! You can tell me! I don't want to be talking about that. It is personal. <sighs> and besides... Dead men tell no tales. But this oh, dead man tells one tell tale. Oh. <laughs> uh. I easily overtook Marley's crew and beat them to Big Whoop, which just so happened to be here on Monkey Island. Wait, what? Wasn't it supposed to be on a different island? Then again, I kept saying uh, it's going to be on Monkey Island, isn't it? Because it's on. It was called Binky Island? Inky. Inky, off as your yeah. cat, Inky Island. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still confused about the carnival. Then ask me. As designer and founder, <laughs> I can answer all your questions. Okay. <laughs> Chuck showing himself to be a multi talented scumbag. <laughs> uh. How do you power all the rides? That'd be a good question. As he may already know, the power of Big Whoop be derived from its position as an infernal nexus, binding our world with the unholy manifestation of evil itself. Well, of course. But like all fuel sources, it can't be lasting forever. That's why it'd be our job to conserve its demonic power wherever possible <laughs> and look to alternative power sources. <sighs> Nuclear. No, we tap our greatest natural resource, monkeys. My word. <laughs> Hordes of ruthlessly trained monkeys are hidden away deep within the bowels of the park, bound to immense machines of destruction and family entertainment. <laughs> That's so inhumane. Oh, I'm glad you noticed. It be the little touches that make the difference. <laughs> Mark my words, LeChuck. When I finally defeat you, I'll be sure to set them all free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, there we go. I, I thought the treasure of Big Whoop was on Dinky Island. Dinky Island be an atoll what? just off the coast of Monkey. Oh. Island. But they be connected by a maze of mysterious tunnels that run under the very ocean floor. Wait, didn't those connect to melee? Very tidy explanation. 
Uh, they are they are still so bullshitting, but it does make a sort of sense in this stupid wacky world. Yeah, no, I'm confused. I thought I was swear it was called Inky Island, not Dinky. They, unless they changed it. Unless Inky yeah. Island is a Dinky Island connection to another. Um, <laughs> my brain. I'm. You know what? Continue on. <laughs> Who told you this was a good idea? You're insane. Maybe, Freepwood, maybe. But I did it all for love. I'm mad for you, Elaine, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Uh, One madness of the other. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh, she loves <laughs> me. Does not. <laughs> Oh, come on. I've heard enough of your evil stories. Let's get this over with. But there'll be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. See, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> ah, you better <laughs> listen. <laughs> la, 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 la. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. Very well, Freepwood. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I uh -oh. think you deserve a timeout, young man. Uh oh. Uh, wait, what? Can we still interact? Uh, what just happened? Uh, balloon? I can't use a balloon with that. Where are you is hiding? It, is it bugged or something? The magic wand has no effect on that. Hmm. Uh, what's going on? No. Where do I get the feeling? Uh, that doesn't need to be lathered up. Did you? My mask of tofu won't do anything. Now, I don't think it's glitched. Uh, let's see. Can you break Hint. it? Let's see. Barbecue, no. Okay, there's the bit about the volcano. Okay, use the first uh, dialogue choice until the uh, guy press has the option of telling he's not going to listen. Okay. Um... Wait, really? It's... Is it this... It's not locked. Your plan was flawless, LeChuck, except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Short brush. He's taking Elaine on his roller coaster of death. I've got to reach her before she becomes his undead bride. <laughs> What's happened to me? Dead, foggy, can't think I'm swimming must concentrate and rescue Elaine I've got to save Elaine but how can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy oh, if only I could think straight must clear my mind <laughs> welcome to the big wolf carnival little guy come on over here and meet your old pal dingy dog oh for crying out loud <laughs> Oh, hey, hello. <laughs> they, is, is this the... Uh, I guess this in part explains uh, the ending of Monkey Island 2. Well, I like the guy, but this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> okay, uh, let me take a quick glance through the guide if how much there is still to go. Um... Uh, not too much, actually. Shall, shall, shall we just go a bit extra to finish this off then? Because, yeah, I, yeah this, I don't think there is enough left for another two hours. I'm so, up for that. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I remember. Um, we need that head to be clear. We need to clear his head, but we don't have any eggs or pepper. Uh, how do we get... At that then, uh, da, 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 da. and yeah, we also need <laughs> of the 
dog that bit us. Okay. Um... You mean, you mean dingy? Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Duplicate the recipe. Do we still have? Yes, we still have the recipe book. That's the two hour mark, but we are continuing. So, yeah, let's see if we can tick off the dog. Are you the real dingy dog? You, you bet I am. And I'm here to make sure you have fun, fun, fun. What's your name, little boy? Okay. For starters, I'm not a little boy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Well, shiver me timbers. That's well. <laughs> I'd like to speak to your manager. Oh, no, you don't, little boy. <laughs> Just the sight of my manager has caused children older than you to burst into tears. Glitchuck. <laughs> I really want to talk of to course. somebody in charge. No can do, son. <laughs> hmm. Don't you patronize me. Well, <laughs> sounds like you've learned a very big word. You're a very bright little man. <laughs> That's well. <laughs> Laugh while you can. Soon I'll destroy LeChuck and your entire world will lie in ruin. You bet. Roll on <laughs> and play now, son. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see. Cool. Okay, so we don't need to talk to him at all for this. We need to... Uh oh ...finally a use for that. <laughs> now that's not very nice, little boy. I'm not gonna warn you again, kid. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're really starting to bug me, kid. <laughs> Finally, a use for pushing people. All right. <laughs> that does it. You're going down, little punk. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ow, he bit me. Hey, give me back that hair, kid. You're ruining the suit. <laughs> uh, well, uh, biting was a requirement, and I just hear the tingle there that I know from another game. Uh oh. Uh, uh, is that pie? Let's see. Yeah. Yep. Marrying you. Marrying you, pie. It's a huge stack of meringue pies. Meringue. Oh. Oh, it's oh you. Launch pies at the clown. Hmm. I I don't like meringues. <laughs> Not sure I've ever had anything with it in it. Yeah, kid, what it's is it? It's too sweet. What are you guys doing here? It's blow the man down, the most fun in the midway. Hit the funny clown and win a fantastic prize. Watch the pies fly from the cannon with blinding speed and loud report. And if your aim is true, go home with your winnings. Join in the laughs with your happy sailor host, Warfred, and his pal, Monty Meringue. What flavor? <laughs> what? <laughs> what flavor are the pies today? I don't know. Lemon meringue, I think. What kind of a stupid question is that? Uh, the voice actor. What in the world is meringue? I don't know, kid. Whipped egg whites, I guess. Oh. Okay, well, we need egg. With a lot of sugar. I want to shoot the cannon. I want to shoot the cannon. Sorry, little boy. You're too young. Blow the man down is for older kids. That's discrimination. How do I know it really works if I can't see it go off? Okay, kid, you want to see the cannon fire? Here we go. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, I get the feeling we're going to need to stuff the cannon then. Uh, let's have a check. Uh, the turn. Red won't let have a pie. He only shoots... Uh, he only shoots pies at the at whoever. Okay. Oh, we need to get we need to get the uh, other guy out of there. Okay. Can we open that? I can't go back there. I'm deathly afraid of mimes. Uh, it's okay. a mime. <laughs> I have to wonder if he's genuinely content with this line of work. Well, if he likes meringue, maybe. Um. Hmm. 
-hmm. And also, the Rats voice actor. I feel like I heard him many times, and most of the times, he has been a character with a big cigar. <laughs> and let's see. If you're playing Mega Monkey, let's to use the anchor, but we. Okay, but uh, we're not playing on that, so hmm, we, we're going to need to we're going to need to knock him the fuck out at their anchor. Can we just outright take that? Hey, you can't just have that, kid. Okay. Uh, hmm. How can I win one of these fabulous prizes? Well, that's easy, <laughs> matey. If I can't guess your weight or your age, you get to pick what you want. What's the catch? <laughs> There's no catch. It's just that easy. Okay. Just try to guess how much I weigh. All righty. <laughs> let Dingy have a look at you, little guy. Uh, let me see here. I figure a strapping little pirate like you must weigh ooh, 98 pounds. Ha! The joke's on you. <laughs> I just look like a little boy. In actuality, I'm a mighty pirate weighing in at... 98 pounds. This is really embarrassing. Am I not eating right? I've been working out. Okay, we're going to need to screw with that thing. Uh, then again, it does say that it's only in the Mega Monkey version. Uh, yeah. Let's see. You know, you do that, I'm gonna send a message to someone. Let's uh, guess your age. Oh. Yep. Let's keep that up. I accidentally clicked away the guides. Um. I'll bet you can't guess how old I am. <laughs> bet you I can. A little fearsome buccaneer like yourself must be seven years old. Ha! Wrong. I just so happen to be 20. <laughs> well, do you have any proof for your old pal Dingy Dog? You calling me a liar? <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> I have my proof right here. Oh. Scum Actors Guild membership card. Guybrush Threepwood, <laughs> age 20. Uh, when did he pull that out? <laughs> I suppose you're right. <laughs> Pick your prize. <laughs> oh, so how the hell did you get here? Uh, anchor. Give me that anchor. Well, take it away, son. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your stay here at Big Wolf. And uh, I think that was. Uh, your heart. I'm the prize <laughs> you really want. <laughs> Tough luck, Murray. What? You picked the anchor? Well, it's a really nice anchor, Murray. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, oh, now we stuff oh, that. Oh, no that stupid anchor instead of me. <laughs> I want to shoot the cannon. I want to shoot the cannon. Not right now. Oh, but I want to see the cannon fire. Be cheeks, half pint. Look, man, I pay your salary. You want me to tell the Chuck you've got unhappy kids running around here? <laughs> okay, okay, you little. And there we go. <laughs> okay. Did you just hear something? No. Weird. <laughs> the acoustics of that smelly giant head. Shut up, kid. <laughs> oh, I I think we just saw the. I at the very corner. I think you could just what see the the, hunk of iron anyway. <laughs> the mimes. Uh, it's not even a real feet anger. getting dragged away. Yeah, I saw that. Don't worry, what just happened? Okay. After all we've been through together. Yoo hoo, stinky Mr. Rat. Hey, get out of there, you little punk! What are you going to do about it, vermin boy? This'll teach you. <laughs> and into his pocket it goes. Okay, now we just need to find Pepper. A stupid anchor. <laughs> you would have made a lousy undead monster anyway. Oh, I can no song. For an owner who understands my need to bring fear and pestilence on the likes of you. <laughs> oh, hello. Get out of here! Before I call up the demonic legions of Hades and set them upon you like a swarm of angry locusts. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, Murray. Nope. <laughs> that ride's just for bigger kids. Okay. Uh, then I guess we need to get real useful. <laughs> the flies are visible around him. <laughs> what kind of cones did you ask? Why, I have every kind imaginable. I have the most distinct type of snow cones in the world. In fact, my cones are so original, so inventive, and so <laughs> unique that most are completely inedible. Let me list some for you. I have sweet cones, meat cones, cold cones, mold cones, bold cones with lime, cones with slime, <laughs> veggie cones, wedgie cones, hedgy cones. I used some of my neighbor's edge in that one. Cones with spice, cones with lice, berry cones, hairy cones, dairy cones, and the Christmas, oh, 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 merry cones. <laughs> so, what do you think of that? Uh, hmm. Wait. Is that you, Hillian? What? Or a relative of yours? He. I don't know. Something about the eyebrows and stare. I'd like a plain <laughs> snow cone, please. Okay, kid. No, actually, I think that that's in the face I imagine you All when right. you're about to get annoyed at a game. <laughs> yeah. And Oops, my and... snow cone melted. Uh, okay. Already? That was quick. Then again, this is the Caribbean. The Caribbean. I can never tell how you're supposed to pronounce that. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, do I say this? I'm pretty sure Hillian has better hygiene than that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There's a pepper mill at the snow cone. Uh, oh, it never said if it if it was supposed to be. Uh, a pepper fruit or a pepper <laughs> spice. There it is. Okay. Um, no, no, what do we... I'd rather keep these pie bits for a better time. I'd rather keep these pie bits for a better time. Oh. I think I see what we need to do. I'll take that old snow cone for you. <laughs> Thanks. Is he all right? Probably not. Also, uh, you'd need a lot more cover to be allowed to serve fruit like that. Okay. That meringue looks tasty. I'd rather keep these pie bits for a better time. Mmm, peppery, good, uh, hairy. Okay. And... This snow cone is useless here. Wait, what? Oh, eat. <laughs> And presto, chainzo. The pepper helps, though. <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> there we go. We're on part six. Guyvers kicks butt once again. <laughs> uh, oh, really? <laughs> uh, Wally? I'm... <laughs> okay, there were a few things in that there. You had Merlin locked up, tied up here. Three headed monkey. Three -headed. <laughs> uh, Dynamo monkey, electric Captain Marley. Uh, Too late for me to get out. Okay. We, and. <laughs> uh, Too late for me to get w out. Wally. Too late for me to get out. Okay, I can't. I think we might have accidentally skipped something. Too late for me to get out. Uh. Hmm. Okay, it automatically entered us and made us into stop. Um, Too late for me to get out. Okay. What's going on? Uh, trapped on the roller coaster of doom, Lechuk is the one who traps you to get Lech free of Lechuk. You must destroy him. Uh, how? Uh, I think. Too late yeah. for me to get out. I think we might have accidentally missed something here. Uh. To, 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 Remember how explosive rum is, and the chuck uh, breeds fire. Wait. Uh -oh. oh. We need to steal. Yep. <laughs> hmm. I think that that yeah that's freaking Wally again. <laughs> yeah. Someone I could see be related to you. Mostly due to the eye patch. 
Oh wait, that's not how yeah. relation works, is it? But yeah, I get the feeling somehow uh, a bit got skipped over. But with uh, let actually the card seems to be 3D. And that's a neat little detail. Okay. Uh, I can't. Too late for me to get out. Okay, I thought. Oh. Where are they? Yeah, something got skipped here, I think. Hmm. Okay, uh. Wait. It's a Dynamo Monk Electric Wally. Man, he looks so lifelike. <laughs> hey, wait. Right. He is Wally. <laughs> what the? <laughs> you can count on me, Wally. Just as soon as I defeat LeChuck, save a lane, set all the monkeys free, and ride the madly rotating buccaneer, I'll come back and release you. Die, Brush. Could you please stop that annoying swinging? <laughs> <laughs> he does it again. Uh. Mm, no. Okay, get in that thing quick. We need to get out at uh, the neck. <laughs> we have to... The pirate at the sea scene. Okay. No, not here. But really. Wait, wasn't? There was a hung corpse. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's keys there. Alright. Let's grab that. Uh, Rum Rogers. It's Rum Rogers Sr. as he appeared in life. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, Brinkwood is only you. Have you seen Elaine? She told me she was just going to powder her nose, and I haven't seen her since. Yeah. I can't even believe that I fell for that one again. Now stand still, boy, I... so I can blame Roy. <laughs> Ooh. Catch. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Whimper. Uh, hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to check if there was anything that somehow got skipped over or something. And why is this all frozen? Has hmm. frozen over? Yeah. It. It, it it does feel like a bit was skipped. Maybe it was skipped over because we're on the easy mode. Maybe just accidentally cut out a bit extra or a bit more than they actually intended to. And who the hell is this? Or is that supposed to be? Oh, oh yeah, his captain. He he did say he went to Monk Island with someone else. Um, and someone lost their keys and their hook here. We might need the keys. Uh, let's see. Rum won't explode on its own. You need a, a fuse. Okay. A uh, rope. Okay. There we go. Now we need something to make it actually usable as a fuse because rope. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's what's going on. I can't help but love the little woman. Eat, claim, and death, great word. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> we can't stop him now at the mood, so we, we just have to get out. Come on, get moving. <laughs> uh, what can we use to make a fuse out of the rope? Because rope on its own doesn't really burn that well. It does burn, but not fast enough to be a fuse. So uh, we did the rope? Let's see, you must soak it in something. Soak it in oil, but where is oil here? Um, used for lighting. Let's see. So, not here. 
oil is inside the lantern. Can't grab it while it is lit. What? Uh, no, we. No, there's no. Uh, Too late no. for me to get out. Mm -hmm. That one isn't lit. It's. Oh, this this goes up. Okay. I'm yeah, using the pictures a bit. No one keep... <laughs> Uh, really? Mm, no. Really? Uh, open the lantern. Blow it out. Oh, it, oh, okay, but it, oh, the, the the lantern is already out. Um. Okay, back to down then. Is there any actually? No, don't you? It's every sailor's worst nightmare, the giant snowy ape. <laughs> okay. You mean Yeti? Apparently what? not. Okay. Get back in, Guybrush. Oh. That car. Yes, hmm. really, it says rest in peace on the cart. <laughs> yep, and uh, here he comes again. Freakwood, it be me, your worst nightmare. You'll be sorry you ever set foot here on Monkey Island when I'm through with you. Yep, nothing we can do. <laughs> I get the feeling this is going to be a repeat thing in the games that Guy vs. George is going to get chased around by, <laughs> by LeChuck at the end. You might want to stand, jump off a wedge for him to arrive near the one with the lantern. Yep. Okay. And... Yep. There we go. Um, rope. Oil. No, oh, I actually skipped a bit. There we go. Now we just wait and might as well check. Glad to see that I'm featured among the attractions here. <laughs> it's very lifelike. I mean, deathlike. It's a replica of the torture chamber in LeChuck's palace from back in his zombie days. <laughs> ah, there he comes. LeChuck's back again. I'll be chasing around this roller coaster till you be my undead slave, Freewood. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay, I'm missing something here. Uh, oh, too late for me to to, get out. we need to do that here. Hmm. Okay, we need to make him sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Bye bye, Wally. <laughs> uh. Okay, here. Okay. Then we use this with the monkey. Let's see. Ro must be in proper place first. Yeah, he must direct let Chuck's flames. They might go up if he sneezes. Stand below the snow monkey. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. And use the pepper. What pepper? We don't have pepper. Uh. It's a piece of rope soaked in lamp oil. Hmm. We missed pepper. Could be. Um. The. The diorama with the uh, with Marley's uh, crew might have some. Yeah. Uh, but I guess that I guess that, that there he comes. Yeah, that he is next. Okay, nothing we can do again. Uh -oh. 
He could just easily kill him, but he's just playing with him now. <laughs> okay, should be the next diorama, I think. And uh, hopefully we can get... Yep. We can continue on without... Uh, let's see. Uh, Rap Scallion. Pepper, Pepper. Where is Pepper? Let's see. Oh, he, he's here, girly. Here he comes. Aye, and I'll keep a coming after ye for as long as it takes to make ye one of the undead. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Darn. Okay. Where, where do we get pepper? We don't have any pepper ourselves, and. Uh. Hmm. Russian. Hmm. Romantic spawned on its own. You'll find where you find Paris, you'll find rum. Toothrust, no. Okay, we're missing something here. Uh fire to the rum. We need a fuse. Gyros may have to improvise. Rope can make a pretty good fuse. Get the rope. Get the 300 monkey. Soak it in oil. Probably isn't oil. Yeah. How do I get what I need from the lantern? Yes, can't grab, grab it when it's lit. We'll blow it out. Okay, rum must be in the proper place first. Place the rum under the arm of the giant snow monkey. Then you must direct... Uh, stand below the snow monkey and use the pepper with the chuck. We don't have any pepper. So... Too late for me to get out. Hmm... Seriously, we we have only the flask of oil. Wait, wait. Do you see an arrow? Hmm? Yeah. What arrow? Uh, open the chest. Oh. Look up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that explains a lot more. Okay. Too late. Missed that car. So likely LeChuck is going to show... Okay. Uh, yeah, that was me just overlooking. I thought all of our stuff was taken. What would you do without me? You don't give up easily, do you? <laughs> I'll never give up, and I have all eternity to hound me. Eh, uh, just for fun. You shouldn't have. Uh, Gesundheit? <laughs> 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 he set the diorama on fire. <laughs> It's a forest hit. Get, get brush tree poop is related to Hillian. <laughs> we found found a relative. How does it feel? Okay, get out here. And now we just wait for LeChuck. <laughs> you actually, honestly, how would you feel if he if get brush tree poop was relative of yours? Um, I try to find some way to get that memory gone as soon as possible. <laughs> so not lock your room? <laughs> uh, why lock the room, though? Uh, you've been playing this game, right? <laughs> we both know he's a, he's a kleptomaniac. Ah, there he comes. Will you please stop? I'll not stop until you join me and my bride to be as our undead doorman. Okay. And is that going to do it? <laughs> also, why does why does a demon still have nostrils? Oh. And there he goes again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's Hag La Haggis, Lemonhead, Cutthroat Bill, and I've forgotten the last one's name. <laughs> uh, Haggis? No. 
Uh, rack him, rack him. Rack him. It's from left to right, it's Haggis, Lemmy's Head, Cutthroat Bill, and Rack him. Rack him, Van. Van something. Van Helgen? Run, mortal. <laughs> but do not forget your arch nemesis, Murray. Mark my words. I shall return to haunt you. Do you hear me? I Wait. shall return. <laughs> <laughs> Did he see the skeleton head in the intro of the new trailer? Yep. The... <laughs> uh, yeah, that is Murray. <laughs> okay. Ern Boon, no. Voiceless Shark, Wally Alan and... Young. Yep. That's his name, Alan Young? Yep. Hey, Dingy Dunk, Blonde Beard, Rottingham, and the Flying Bossman. Uh, Tom Kane. Boy, Lafoot, Pirate 2, Slappy Cromwell, Griswold, Kakuda, Victor Raider. Uh, Raider is an actual name. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, Mary Kay Bergman. Somehow that sounds a bit familiar. And Stan as with Pat, <laughs> voiced by Pat Piney. Uh, Brendan Holmes, Jan Eddy, Christina. Okay, yeah, we kind of rushed it at the bit there, and I do get the feeling that there's some there was some sort of cutscene missing between, uh, yeah, Guybrush growing up again and actually entering the, uh, yeah, the roller coaster. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, these two last chapters were extremely short compared to the others. Yeah. Not that it's a bad thing, but it just feels like they might have uh, put the uh, they might have pulled the handbrake a bit too loose. Uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're just uh, speculating. Yeah. Uh, Still, I, I I really enjoyed this game. <laughs> yeah, probably why it's still canon. And yeah, from what I've been hearing, it seems like games after this one is no longer canon. Uh, yeah, that'll be Escape from Monkey Island, which is the first 3D Monkey Island. And then we have the Tales of Monkey Island. Uh, from Tale... No, Tale. I almost said Tattletale. <laughs> That's a horror game. <coughs> Pardon? <clears throat> Forgiven. But yeah, that, that was something that came to light a bit uh, more recent. That's... Uh, yeah. Monkey Island 1, 2, and 3, or this one, Curse of Monkey Island, those will still be, uh, those will be still in canon with the, well, what the new Monkey Island game is going to be, Return to Monkey Island. Uh, but I, from what I heard and speculated myself, most people thought that uh, this game was going to get cut as well, but apparently no. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what will happen there. Yeah, I, I'm very curious, and the new art style is, well, damn good. Yeah. And I will say again, I'm surprised they were able to make a ghost with the bones still inside them cute. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get to that game eventually. It should release in September of this year. But we've still got, well, yeah, two games to go through. So, hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah, we've... these so far have taken like four uh, streams each, or three to four. Um, so yeah, two games, two months. Yeah, that wouldn't be enough. We'd have to find something else uh, likely to fill in on the Saturdays, or we go back to <clears throat> Orcs Must Die and Hard Space Shipbreaker. Hmm. Yeah, there wouldn't be much in the long run, but we do have many games we want to show. True. So we um, should have some uh, there. Uh, maybe not. Oh. Brad Barrett. Okay. Someone uh, died. Then again, Telltale. Oh. Carnival is great, Dad. It sure is, son. But you know, rumor has it that the man who built this place is buried here. And they say that to this day, his frozen body remains in the tunnels somewhere beneath the amusement park. 
And that was a sting from... Oh, oh and the game just outright quits. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were going to cut the Wally still hanging there. <laughs> it probably will uh, be joke in the next game. A uh, good chance. But, yeah, another thing about it, Telltale games tend to take... Well, it tends to depend. They release their, you know, they've released many of their games in episodes, which tend to be shorter than a full game. And I don't actually know how many of those episodes they they released for Tales of the Monkey Island, uh, Tales of Monkey Island. So it could be that that might actually take longer than four streams. But yeah, we'd have to find, we'd have to see. And yeah, we have plenty of things to show in between. Uh, yeah, you know, when we run out with Monkey Island, and before and when the new one releases, so yeah, yeah. we'll just have to see uh, when it comes to that. Yeah, and, uh, uh, the, the, the only game that comes to my mind at the moment is uh, the Half Yin Hero. What's her name again? Shantae. Shantae, thank you. No, I forgot. Were we to have that as a side game or main game? Uh, could be either, um, we, but we could put those on the Saturdays if need be. Yeah, hmm. but it they should be at least done enough time before the release of next Monkey Island game. Uh, do keep in mind, though, the, the Shantae has uh, let me actually think uh, five games under her belt. We we won't be playing the first one because that is a very very old one. It's like. Uh, the Game Boy uh, before color even. So no, no, yeah. it, was, it was it was done during color. It was the, the first one of the first color games. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Advanced... <laughs> Wait, it might actually be the first advanced game. No, uh, I I think I think if I remember correctly from what I've been uh, heard here and there is that uh, Shantae released towards the end of the life cycle of the Game Boy Color. And similarly with Game Boy Advance as well. But yeah, with the which the Shantae games, we'll be skipping the first one just for ease's sake, because it's also, well, the most crude one, since it is the first in the series. And yeah, it's a it's a Game Boy Color game. I'm not even sure if we'll have <laughs> ways to emulate that. It probably is, but yeah, I have just no real interest in that one. Yeah, and it can might be some issues to trying to do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll take one more look. Well, okay, we're apparently with this strategy guide. We are even at <laughs> the entirety of the story, and we're only about halfway through the document. So, what is the rest of this? Okay, about the art. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, sketches. Uh, comparisons and what is this walkthrough? Um, okay. Oh, this is just directly telling you how to do things, even uh, without just hinting them. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um. <laughs> well then. Uh. Yeah. Th this was fun. We probably missed some things here and there, but uh, yeah, but I, we, I don't think we'd be making another stream of this just to find little bits here and there. Yeah. So, probably yeah, we'll, have, we'll just have to see what we'll do next uh, Saturday, but we know what we'll be doing tomorrow. Oh, Showcase <laughs> Sunday. Yep. And we are we are getting closer and closer to the end of my uh, online games library. But once we run out of those, which should still be a month or so, I think, maybe a month or two, I still have uh, physical games that can't actually be gotten uh, online anymore. Only through uh, secondhand retail. So, yeah. And not all of those are like that, but still a good bunch. So... Yeah. Well, we'll see. Uh, as again, we'll see with that when we get to it. So for now, uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you as always, Drake here. Oh, you was welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, trying out four games tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we'll see. <clears throat>
we'll see what happens then. So until then, have a nice day, and until then. The same folks, now I'm gonna negotiate with Helion here about my gun payment. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.